now back at the garage. We just finished putting in some uh, hoses under the dash. We'll show you that. For the uh, pin up here on the hood. We took everything out from underneath the hood. You can see the tent right there. Um, we had to have some way for that water to drain. So we just came down here and put these hoses in there. got everything done. Uh, we haven't put carpet in it yet. We just cut these pieces out just a template. Put one seat in it so I can move it around. Painted our roll bar. Got all the gauges and everything hooked up. Got some paint on it. We didn't clear coat it. Uh, it was too, actually too hot to clear coat it. So we just decided to go ahead and put the base coat on there. We compounded the base coat. Later on, we'll, uh, if we have time, we'll go over it with some prep saw, wipe it all down, give it a light wet sanding. Uh, these wheels that we got on there uh, are just something to roll it around in the garage. We got some dirt track tires on the back of it, they're pretty glad, which would really look good on there. So we can get some slick the same width and everything. But anyway, Take a look up underneath the hood here. We got it all running good and everything now. Making a vacuum booster, a canister, so we get a little more vacuum. We've got quite a can in there, as you can see it rocking. We made it a uh, aluminum battery hole down over there. See that? We've got the fan hooked up there for a
put it in there and uh, snap it down to the floor and then cut the edges and we'll be done with that. We didn't really didn't do any fancy stuff back here. We still got wells showing and everything else back here. We might cover it up, we might not. We don't know. But anyway, that's our little project. And uh, it's been a fun one. It's been a long, long journey. But if it was the only thing that we had to work on and didn't have to work and all that kind of stuff, of course I'm retired now, but uh, before I wasn't, it was kind of hard trying to take care of family and do the things you like doing and then have a little time to work on your hot rod. But anyway, that's where we are right now and we'll do another video a little bit later on when we get everything together here and get it all finished up and put the wheels on that we're going to run on it. All that good stuff. But anyway, we thank you for watching and uh, we'll continue this video a little later on. Have a blessed day and happy hot rod.